hello and welcome to my video. Here I take a closer look at the Gigabyte Windforce RTX 2070. My main reason for upgrading to this card was that I desired more performance at higher resolutions. Of the options in this price range, I went with the RTX 2070 because it performs well against similarly priced cards and has excellent power efficiency. Additionally, as an RTX card, it has features not seen on any other card in the $499 price range. This particular RTX 2070 has great features, including a triple fan design, RGB lighting, a backplate, and the fan stop when the GPU is at idle. Here are some games I've run at 4K on this card. Forza Horizon 4 runs at a silky smooth 60 frames per second at native 4K on the high preset with dynamic optimizations. There is not one single drop below 60 with this setting. Amazing looking game. Street Fighter V runs at 60 frames per second at 4K with maximum settings. Here I am running Rise Son of Rome at 4K at the highest settings. This game is still pretty demanding. It's not a perfect 60 FPS at native 4K high settings, but you can get a more stable frame rate by using the resolution scaler or lowering some settings. Looping Unage in Heaven, this card gets to 67 degrees Celsius at stock settings with an average clock speed of around 1790 megahertz. That is already a nice increase over the stock 1620 megahertz boost rating. Overclocked, the card hits 70 degrees Celsius and the average clock speed is around 1940 megahertz. I recently posted a video using an automatic overclocking feature. Since then, I've increased the memory speed by 10%. Here are some benchmarks showing the type of performance increase you could expect running this card overclocked against its stock performance. I'm pleased with the performance of this card. Still awaiting DLSS and RTX support, but in the meantime, the card performs great in games today and does so while being power efficient, cool, and quiet. This concludes this video. Thanks for watching.